Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to do subnetting for Class A IP network. In Class A IP network, the IP address will range from 1 to 126 in the first octet. And default subnet mask is 255.0.0.0. And the CIDR value is slash 8. What is CIDR value? It is the total number of network bits. So in this case, eight bits are reserved, reserved as network bits and remaining 24 bits are reserved for host bits. Normally network bits, we will write it as binary ones and host bits, we will write it as binary zeros. Now we will see some example here. Before we go into that example, we will see the subnet reference table in this sub subnet reference table, I have used 32 bit CADR value. So the subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, 255. How did we get this 255? So to get that our first octet value, we have to add the binary ones. Wherever binary ones are coming, the corresponding decimal value should be added. Or to convert these binaries into decimal, I have used the two power table. We have to use the two power table. This two power value we should write from right side to left side. Here you can see two power zero, two power one, two power two, and so on. And then what we have to do, we have the corresponding values we have to add. Here all the eight bit values are binary ones. So we have to add the all eight locations. Adding this, we are getting 255. Suppose wherever zeros are binary zeros are coming that location we have to neglect uh, we will see one example suppose if we change the one to zero here this location we have to neglect the value one should be neglected remaining value should be added so in this case we will get the decimal value 254 this is the way we have to use the subnet reference table In this example, we are going to use 10.0.0.0 slash 16 network. This is the class A network. The CADR value is 16. But as per class A network, the default CADR value is 8. The total number of network bits are only 8. But in this example, we need 16 number of network bits. So we need another 8 number of bits. To get the another eight number of bits, we have to borrow those bits from the host bits. Host bits, we are already having 24 bits. Out of the 24 bits, we have to borrow another eight bits. So what I'll do that. Now I have borrowed eight bits from the host bits. Now the total number of network bits are eight. So the value will change into 255 and the remaining host bits are 16. Now we are going to find total number of subnets and total number of IP addresses in every subnet and total number of hosts per subnet to find that number of subnets we have to use this formula 2 power n here n is equal to total number of subnet bits number of bits we have borrowed from host bits in our example we have borrowed 8 bits from host bits so n is 8 so we have to use 2 power 8 here the value is 256 now we have to find number of IP addresses per every subnet. The formula is 2 power h. Here h is number of total number of host bits. In our case, the total number of host bits are 16. So we have to use 2 power 16 here. The value is 65,536, the total number of IP addresses. Now we have to find total number of host usable IP addresses per subnet. The formula is 2 power h minus 2. 
in our case, two power uh, h host bits are two power sixteen. So two power sixteen minus two. We have to write two power sixteen minus two. The value is sixty five thousand five thirty four. Here, why we have to subtract this two? Because every subnet is having two mandatory addresses. The one address is network ID. The another one is uh, broadcast ID. Every subnet's first IP address is called network ID, and the last IP address is called broadcast ID. So we have to subtract those two addresses from the uh, total number of IP addresses. Now we have to find the block size. Why we need to find this block size? Because while we are writing network ID for every subnet, we have to add this block size. Based on this block size, we have to add. The formula is 256 minus non-zero subnet max octet value. How can we find this non-zero subnet max value? We should read the uh, read this value from right to left. So non zero this uh, here we can see the last octet is zero, the next octet is zero, the first non zero value is 255. So this is the second octet is having 255. So we have to deduct this 255 from 256. So our block size is one. Next, we have to find network ID and broadcast ID for every subnet. Our first network ID is 10.0.0.0. To get the subsequent uh, net network ID, we have to add the block size. The block size where we have to add, it should be added to the non-zero octet value from the right side to left side. In our case, this is the second octet. Here only we have to add the block size. So when we add the block size, we will get 10.1.0.0. The same way we have to add for every subnet. We will get the network ID. Finally, we got the network ID for 256 subnets. In our case, we have 256 subnets. The same way we have to find the broadcast ID. We know already network ID is the first IP address in every subnet and broadcast ID is the last IP address in every subnet. To get the broadcast ID, the simple way is we have to write the previous IP address of next network ID. So our net, next network ID is 10.1.0.0. So our previous IP address is 10.0.255.255. In my previous video, I have explained how to get the network ID and broadcast ID using binary method. I'll give the link in the description. And the same way we have to find the broadcast ID for the next subnet. It is 10.1. That's the last IP address in this subnet. 10.1.255.255. The same way we have to write for every subnet. Uh, finally, we have to find the usable IP addresses. Usable IP addresses. The usable IP range normally lies between network ID and broadcast ID. The simple way to find the first host IP address is we have to add one IP address to the network ID. So our network ID is 10.0.0.0. Then we add one IP address to this network ID. We will get 10.0.0.1. The same way we will get next IP address 10.1.0.1. Then we add one IP address to the network ID. Now we have to find the last host IP address. The last host IP address is the previous IP address of broadcast ID. So to get the last host IP address, we have to subtract one IP address to our broadcast ID. So from this broadcast ID, if you subtract one IP address, 
we will get 10.0.255.254. The same way for next subnet, we will get 10.1.255.254. The same way we can get the last host IP address for every subnet. We will see one more example. In this example also, we will use the same IP network 10.0.0.0, but we are changing the CADR value. Earlier we have used CADR value 16. Now we are using 10 for this example. So as we know, this is the class A IP network. Class A IP network, by default, it is having eight number of network bits. But in this example, we need 10 number of network bits. So we need to borrow two bits from the host bits. Here I have highlighted the two borrowed subnet bits. Now we have to find the total number of subnets. To get the total number of subnets, we have to use this formula 2 power n. Here n is the total number of subnet bits. In our case, the borrowed bits, that is 2. So 2 power 2, 2 power 2, the value is 4. So finally, we'll get four number of subnets. Next, we have to find the total number of IP addresses in every subnet. The formula is 2 power h. Here, h is the total number of host bits, remaining host bits. Out of 24 host bits, we have already borrowed two bits. Uh, so the remaining host bits are 22. So 2 power 22. So here we will get 4,194,304 IP addresses. Next, we have to find the total number of hosts. Total number of hosts per every subnet. The formula is 2 power h minus 2. So 2 power 22 minus 2, we will get 4,194,302. Next, we have to find the block size. To get the block size, the formula is 256 minus non-zero octet value, subnet mask octet value, uh, which should be read from uh, right side to left side. So the first non-zero value is, here we can see that is 192. So we have to subtract this 192 from 256. 256 minus 192. So we will get 64. So our block size is 64. Next, we have to find the network ID and broadcast ID for every subnet. The, our first network ID is 10.0.0.0. To get the subsequent network ID, we have to add the block size. Our block size is 64. Where we have to add this block size? We have to add this block size to the non-zero architect. A non zero octet value is uh, octet is the second octet. So we have to add in the second octet. When we add 64 in the second octet, we will get 10.64.0.0. The same way we have to add 64 for every subnet. We will get these values. Next, we have to find the broadcast ID. Uh, so the broadcast ID is last IP address in every subnet. So to get the broadcast ID, we have to subtract one IP address from our next network ID. So when we subtract one IP address from 10.64.0.0, we will get 10.63.255.255. The same way we will get next broadcast ID like this. So finally, we have to find the usable IP addresses. Usable IP addresses normally lies between network ID and broadcast ID. Our first host IP address, first usable IP address is to get that we have to add one IP address to our network ID. When we add one IP address to 10.0.0.0, we will get 10.0.0.1. The same way when we add one IP address to every network ID, we will get these values. To get the last usable IP address, that is last host IP, we have to subtract one IP address from our broadcast ID. So here our broadcast ID is 10.63.255.255. The 
dot two fifty five. When we subtract one IP address, we will get this one sixty three dot two fifty five dot two fifty four. The same way, when we subtract one IP address, we will get these values. This is how we have to do submitting for class A IP network. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.